Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to update the resources page that comes with the carry template. Um, so there's a few uh, moving parts and pieces to this. So just want to show you how this all kind of works together and how you can update it um, to deliver freebie downloads uh, to your site visitors. So if you are looking at the resources page, you'll see there's this kind of larger section at the top with a kind of primary featured resource. And then there's also a section down below where you can feature additional resources. So the idea here is that if somebody clicks this button, it triggers a pop-up that um, then your visitors can fill out their information. And then once it's connected with your email marketing platform, you can deliver them their freebie file um, via that, via your email service. So um, this first pop-up in this primary section is kind of um, half started for you. The only thing that you'll need to actually do is um, delete these placeholder elements and actually swap in your own form to this pop-up. And then the second thing that you'll need to do is to um, decide if you want to keep these additional resource um, resource elements. Um, if you don't have any, if you just have one freebie, you can go ahead and definitely delete just this canvas. If you want to have additional ones, um, basically what you'll have to do is you'll just kind of have to repeat the same process for each resource that you want. So the idea would be that you would have a pop-up for each um, for each resource and you would have a unique form that connected with your email service provider um, on that end. So I just want to show you how this works in the back end and then hopefully that will make updating this page a little bit easier for you. So if I'm in show it here, I navigate to my resources page, click on the page tab, and then you'll see this top section is called the featured resource and all the elements that are on this canvas. So um, if I click on the button or the button background here and I go to click actions, you'll see that there's a click action assigned to this button. And that is to show the canvas and I've named this canvas pop-up. So where that pop-up canvas lives right now is way down here at the bottom. I normally just layer my pop-up canvases at the bottom just so they're out of the way because they're not gonna show on the page until they're triggered by that click action. So it just keeps it kind of out of the way of the rest of the page. And this canvas has a couple settings that help um, that action happen. Um, so one of those is that the hidden to start box is selected. So that means it's not gonna show on the page until this is triggered. Um, then I also make sure that it says that it's sticky to the top. So that means it will overlay any other content on the page versus showing down here at the bottom of the page. So this kind of overrides the placement where you see how it's at the bottom actually. So um, like I said, this first section is kind of halfway done for you. So I've already got the click action assigned to show the pop-up. I've already got the pop-up created for you. The only thing you will need to do is go ahead and delete all these placeholder elements. So basically anything inside this form placeholder folder I just made, there's really no function to the folder itself other than to just contain all those placeholder items for you. So you can definitely delete all of these items, including the button, uh, because all of this is going to be actually be replaced by an embed code that you will generate from your own email marketing provider. So typically people use like a service like MailChimp or MailerLite, ConvertKit, um, Flowdesk, like there's really a million different ones you can use. Um, but essentially you'll just need to generate a form that connects to your specific list or segment that you have in your email marketing provider. Um, and then um, you will replace all of these elements with an embed code. So I will show you just kind of at a base level 
what that will look like. And then, so I'll go ahead and delete all that stuff. Like I said, you can go ahead and actually just delete the folder itself. Um, and then you can update the titles here if you want. And then you're just gonna hit embed code. And so you'll just place the embed code kind of approximately where you want it to be inside of this pop-up. And then once you generate that code, you're just gonna place it inside of this box, hit save, and then your um, form should be showing up. Um, if you do not see it for some reason inside the show up builder, it's always a good idea to go ahead and preview as well. Um, mine's obviously not gonna show because I didn't really put a form in there. Um, if I just hit, yeah, so it says undefined because I didn't put any code in there. But when you do um, have code, sometimes when you preview it versus looking in the show up builder, you'll actually be able to see it um, just the way the code is loading. So once you have your code in there and everything is looking good, then um, you, um, you're kind of done with this pop-up part. So I would definitely test on your end once you have the form showing up. Um, that your email marketing service provider is capturing that information. So that's kind of a whole other tutorial as far as setting up that list and setting up the automation that will come. Um, but essentially these are the steps that you will just need to be doing inside of show it specifically. So once you have that one um, set up with your form, um, then essentially you're done with this top one. Obviously, you're just going to want to change any of the text. And if you have a specific image you want to use up here, that will all be specific to your resources. And then going down here, like I said, if you want to feature additional resources, um, you definitely can. There's a spot for it. Um, or if you decide you don't need this extra canvas, you can go ahead and just delete the whole thing. Um, or you could uncheck hide or uncheck visible on desktop and mobile. So that potentially down the road, if you wanna add resources, you could, but just um, for now you can make it invisible. So there's a couple options you have with that. And then, um, as I said, so basically you'll just need to repeat this process um, for any additional resources besides this top one. So that will basically mean um, making sure each of these buttons um, has a click action assigned to it and that the click action is to show a canvas, um, a pop-up canvas that will have uh, another unique form that's embedded into it. So the good part about this is, is that I've already kind of given you a head start and you can just start duplicating some of the elements on the page versus having to start from scratch. Um, but what you don't want to do is, let's say, um, link this button to the same pop-up canvas that this button is linking to. And the reason you don't want to do that is because this pop-up canvas has a very specific, or the one at the bottom, sorry. This one has a specific form that's attached to this specific lead magnet. So if you link all of the buttons to that, to that same form, then they're all only going to get this lead magnet, not the individual lead mag magnet. So that's why you need to create a unique form for each, a unique form and a unique pop-up for each of these resources on the page. But you can still duplicate the existing elements here and just swap out the form just to make things easier. So what I would suggest is to go ahead down here to your pop-up canvas and then you can just hit duplicate and then you'll see that it duplicates that and so you can actually start numbering these if it makes it easier so you could call this first one number one and then you could call the second one actually since i already had a number one it's, it's calling it number two but you could call it A, pop up B, or you could even call it, um, you know, related to the title of the lead magnet. You can see how easy it was just to copy that pop up. So 
Then you again for that second pop up, pop up B, you would just go in here, update the code um, that you generated for that specifically magnet, you know, update the title again, update the mock up image. And then when it comes time to link the two, you'll just make sure that your click action is assigned to your button and the button um, doesn't go to the pop up A, it goes to the pop up B and so forth. So you'll just repeat this process until you have click actions assigned to all of your buttons. So this one could be pop up C, pop up D, pop up E. And then um, once you have assigned all your click actions, duplicated all the pop-ups and embedded the individual codes, then that's when you'll definitely want to test everything out. Um, like I said, there is kind of a whole other setup process that you'll have to be doing inside your email marketing provider, and that definitely is dependent on which platform you're using. Um, but as far as show it goes, this is what you'll just need to do in show it. And Lastly, if there is any um, up icons that you want to update, so this comes with um, some icons that are built into um, the template purchase. So if you want to update these icons, you can easily just click on the image and then load those icons in. Um, this is just kind of a, another one that I have, but you can easily update these images. Um, so they kind of coordinate with the text on the page. I'm going to undo that um, just so that it's back to normal. And then lastly, uh, one final thing I wanted to mention. So all of this, you've got it looking great on mobile or on desktop. The second thing you want to do is to make sure that everything is formatted for mobile. So that's just an, an another um, last step that you'll want to take before you um, launch this page. So luckily, um, most of the heavy lifting is done for you. And any click actions that you do have assigned um, to the buttons, they do carry over to mobile side. Where you will want to make sure um, on the mobile side, though, is that the pop-up way down here um, is formatted um, with the form the correct sizing so you can notice how that was kind of overlapping the box I just didn't size it um, before I copied it over so you might have to do a little bit of tweaking um, to make sure that this fits nicely inside of the space for the pop-up um, if you make it too long then it will start to um, kind of get cut off on the page so my suggestion would be to um, definitely format your form as simply as possible. Um, you can definitely, if you have the option to s define your, you know, button color and font and things like that, you can do that. But as far as like adding extra text or titles or anything like that, I would just try to do bare minimum, just have the name and email field and the button, and then all the other text and things can be um, included here and show it so you can make your form as short and simple as possible. I might also recommend if you can to not have a background color for your form so that it looks seamless with the page or you could just make it white um, or depending on what color you make this section just to match so that it has a seamless kind of flow. So I think that is the last um, sort of tip I wanted to give you on making updates to this page. If you have any questions, feel free to share them in the comments, but hopefully um, this will make it a little bit easier for you to update the resources page and continue to add resources as your website grows.